today let us take a look at uh, the built in scripts that uh, come with the script enough for jira on cloud now we have uh, looked at the built in scripts on script enough for jira on server but not on cloud so today just let us just take a look at those scripts now of course if you want to get familiar with uh, the capabilities of the tool you can uh, take a look at different things here on the first tab browse but we will focus on the built in scripts now right now we do have a couple of these scripts now the first one is a bulk fix resolutions and it is actually quite useful so today we'll uh, take a look at both of them first let us uh, take a look at bulk fix bulk fix resolution and as the name suggests it will basically let you modify their resolution in bulk now for doing that uh, i believe i need to specify the uh, filter or maybe jql now the good thing is that you don't have to worry about the script at all there is there is this nice interface now you can uh, let us say specify your filter now in my case i do have uh, a query which i want to save as a filter so let us say if i want to focus on the bugs of a specific project so right now i'm looking at bug tracking project and i'm basically just focusing on the bug issue type so i'll save this and i will give it a name so bugs of a bug tracking project so when you save your filter you can then go you can then go back to your uh, to your uh, bulk fix resolution uh, built in script and of course i need to refresh for that new filter to appear in the list and we have to click on the filter now so the filter name is uh, bugs of bug tracking and uh, if i look right now i do have uh, some resolution like resolution done or run resolve let us just make it resolve for everyone or maybe something else let us see so we'll probably change it to maybe software failure or won't do let us do software failure and click on the run button so when you click on this button it it will of course um, do something and it will give you this message successfully processed five request and if you now refresh your uh, page where you have the filter open you can see this new resolution so it works nicely and uh, do give it a try if you have to do the same thing the second uh, the second built in script is uh, a bit interesting now let us say if you have to perform some cleanup maybe you want to get rid of your custom fields now or maybe you have some duplicate fields so they can be different use cases but if you have to one 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 really good example is let us say you have to get rid of a duplicate uh, fields so what you can do you can move the values from one custom field to another custom field and you can do that uh, using this built in script of course you can write your own script to make it a bit more uh, uh, customized but uh, this this built in script will also do the same thing for you now we have to basically specify the jql source field and the target field now for this example i will use the same uh, filter but of course uh, here we have to specify the whole jql or maybe filter is equal to filter id whatever works if you copy it here it will uh, tell you that you have five issues right now now the the, the example that i want to give you is uh, let us say we have a baseline end date which is set on some of these issues not all so you can uh, see here that i want to basically move the baseline end date to another field called end date and maybe i want to get rid of the baseline end date maybe it is a duplicate field so this is the example so right now the end date is empty so if i go back to my built in script i will uh, type in here baseline end date and uh, the target field is uh, end date i believe this is the field that i want to use and this looks good let us click on the run button 
and hopefully it will work. I don't think I ever used this feature on cloud and it says updated four issues. So that makes sense because we just have four issues with, with a value. If I refresh this, hopefully it will be copied. The same value will be copied. Of course, you have to make sure that the field type is relevant. But of course, experiment with it. So this, this works. We can see here that the end date is now populated and uh, the built-in script worked and it worked quite nicely. So this is all I wanted to share in this video. Of course, as compared to the server version, the built-in scripts, the number of built-in scripts on Jira, on script number Jira on cloud, um, the number is limited, but uh, you still have few options. But of, but of course, if you go to the script console, the good thing is that there are plenty of examples. So for example, if you click on uh, script console here, the second tab, there are different links that uh, will basically give you a very good idea about uh, things you can do. For example, if you want to add a user to a role, uh, you have a script. So basically, if you click on the link, it will copy the script here for you. If you want to update the issue resolution, so you can also use uh, this script here. Of course, when you're using the script, you have flexibility here. You can, of course, add your own logic and uh, you can make it work for you uh, the way you want. You are not really, limit really limited by those uh, fields like target issue type or target field name or uh, the resolution name based on, uh, because if you go, if you go to the built in script, you just have, for example, for updating the bulk resolution, you have to specify the filter name and the resolution that you want to set, but that is it. Maybe you want to add some condition here. Maybe you want uh, some additional logic. So you can do that with the help of the custom script. And the good thing is that you do have a lot of examples here that you can use uh, out of the box. Of course, you need to learn. I mean, you if you have no experience working on Groovy scripts, I do have uh, videos on uh, Groovy. Not a lot, but I did make them. I will continue making them whenever I get time. But uh, uh, to be honest, if you're working with Scriptum for Jira on cloud, if you know how to work with REST API, and I have plenty of videos on REST API, do take a look at those videos if you want to do something similar. Basically, it's all about uh, understanding the right endpoint, the method that you want to use. For example, if you are getting something or if you're updating something or maybe you are adding something, you just have to use the right method. And uh, if you look at my previous examples, I talked about how to send a, re send a response and how to handle the response that you get back when you how to basically perform the perform the, uh, the the how to basically make a request and get the response that uh, uh, will contain maybe the JSON that you can of course uh, handle the way you want. So we'll continue looking at uh, other aspects of uh, script now for Jira on cloud. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.